Aaron Rodgers, whether or not he was actually going to be a Packer. Was he going to retire? What was all this about? And then today we got a special uh, um, Bakhtiari uh, video giving Aaron Rodgers uh, an Ashton Martin. Well, it was an Ashton Martin golf, golf cart. Golf cart. Pretty decked out. Has the three years he's been the MVP. Um, you know, I, I will say this. Aaron Rodgers kind of looks like, uh, um, you know, the guy that just walked off the beach and was like, you know, I think I'll, I'll give this football thing a try. <laughs> <laughs> like he really took it, enjoyed his vacation. Now I wonder out, about ate that. Some fish tacos and some tequila. I, I, I wonder about that because you're younger than me. A little bit. I'm 45 years old, so I'm I'm around Tom Brady's age, and um, I had to go up and play in a golf tournament in Washington on Wednesday. And I woke up yesterday morning, and I don't think it was necessarily from playing the golf. I think I just slept wrong on a on a new bed may have been too firm may have been too soft i don't know but i woke up yesterday and i couldn't move so during the show if you see me like looking like a robot with my neck i had to spend like three hours at a chiropractor yesterday as well as have a masseuse try to get me into rich eisen's chair today (laughs) i I can't get out of bed without being broken this man (laughs) shows up uh for his 17th season is just like all right i'm ready to go i'm ready to 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 defend my MVP honor. And then you got Tom Brady going into year 22. I, I don't, they're freaks of nature. They're, they're absolute freaks of nature. Because if you ask me to be explosive in any way, shape, or form, <laughs> it, could, it could end my life. I really do believe that. Like if we went outside here and Rich was like, Ryan, I didn't, you know, I didn't get that video of you running the 40 for, for St. Jude's. Could you think we could get one done today? Oh my gosh. I would do it. And... Die? There, no, I maybe die, <laughs> like, DJ. Like, but for sure, an ambulance would be here. Right, you're, the muscles would just rip apart off of your groin and yep. your hamstrings and from your femur. Like, it would be terrible. Any bursting, terrible. any bursting at all would be <laughs> would be an issue. The thing is, though, like you and I are phenomenal athletes. I think there's no question, no question about no question. that. Yeah, right. I'm looking at you. They take care of themselves though in such a different way than you or I now. But I feel like I do. In my mind, I think. I well, think you're, in my mind's I eye. I mean, you've lost so much weight in the last year. You look phenomenal. Uh, you're eating as well as you've probably ever ate in your entire life, even when you were a pro athlete. Um, you're active. We see your Instagram with the walks every day. You play a lot of golf. Uh, but you're 45. I yeah. mean, there's a difference between walking and playing professional football at, at these guys' level now. And the way we take care of our bodies – from when you played and to now, it's just so much different. Everything we thought we knew about was wrong. Was wrong. Yeah. Just completely, you do the opposite now. It's like Costanza. <laughs> whatever you thought you were doing, whatever your inclination is, do the opposite. And that's what Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers are doing. And that's why they're still high, 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 high level here in their 40s. Do you, do any of you expect any kind of downward slide by Aaron Rodgers this year? Or do you expect the same type of caliber of play that? that we've seen in the past, and in, in particular his MVP year, a I mean, year ago. He was MVP, right? Yep. So got to figure there might be a little bit of a step back, but it's still going to put him so far ahead of the majority of the pack that I don't think you're going to see much. We, we heard Aaron uh, Rodgers hasn't thrown double-digit interceptions since 2010. He last threw eight in 2015, and that's his highest in five years. That is unbelievable. He threw 48 touchdowns at 37. I, I was TJ and I were talking about this yesterday. Last year in my fantasy draft, it seems like everyone was sleeping on Rodgers heading into the draft, heading into fantasy last year. And I think he went in the 12th round. What? 12th round? Who got him? You? Last year, not me. I, I I went early and took Deshaun. He had a great year, yeah, he was... but he didn't throw 48 touchdowns. And I'm just thinking. Is Rodgers going to really slip that far again this year? Or are people like, oh, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, you know, I won't get fooled again, like our former president used to say. <laughs> Is Rodgers going to go top 10 fantasy this year? Top, 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 top 10 rounds, I'm talking. Like, where's the perfect spot for Rodgers? You talk about expecting a drop-off. I expect zero drop-off. I expect zero drop-off. They brought back Randall Cobb yesterday, too. 
Right. Yeah, who broke By that the way, story? Ryan, did you did you know that the person who broke that story worldwide is sitting in this studio and it's not you or me? It's probably Chris Brockman. Who yeah. broke that story? Yeah. Chris Brockman <laughs> broke the Randall Cobb story. <laughs> did you get the quote where uh, that some of his friends and teammates have said, it looks like you're coming out of prison? I know. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> What's that about? What does that look like is what I want to know. <laughs> I mean, I mean uh, we've heard Houston was, was bad from the football <laughs> standpoint, but... Was that bad? Where he's like breaking out of Shawshank, bad? Oh man! Oh my goodness! Andy Dufresne. I would have hate. I would have hated the picture uh, taken of me walking out of that out of prison. I, I mean, I can imagine it's a it's a scary look. All right. Uh, but I I mean, if if the guy's, you know, good to go to play for the Packers, I I would think that would be a pretty solid picture. Not not a scary one, but maybe he just maybe he hadn't showered or hadn't combed his hair or anything for a while (laughs) and they just kind of caught him disheveled you know walking into uh, you know oz i also i also like brian gutekos saying straight up yesterday we traded for randall to make aaron happy (laughs) (laughs) not that he could make us a better team there was a there was a hole and the perfect fit was randall cobb no 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 (laughs) aaron wanted it he said he wasn't maybe, coming back without him, so we did it. <laughs> maybe this is just the era of transparency in Green Bay. I love it. We're now, but now everything it. that's said is just the truth. Like, hey, yeah, uh, we cut him because we knew it would piss Aaron off. <laughs> <You're right>. <laughs> <laughs> later, in the, maybe later in the year when the, the season's out of the, you know, down the drain or something like that, and they're like, yeah, we cut so and so because we knew him and Aaron were tight. <laughs> and it was going to annoy him, and we thought that might make him play better football. And he won MVP and took us to. And we're, uh, and we were you know, right we're Bowl. we're petty here. In, the, in Green Bay. We've, uh, we've made that very clear. Um, your guys' thoughts on, I know you guys talked about this a ton, but I, I, I enjoyed the press conference because yeah. two things. For the longest time, we hadn't heard his actual voice. Right. Mm-hmm. And I told people that there was probably some stuff that no one knew about because it hadn't been leaked or hadn't been talked about that's going to come out Otherwise, people were going to continue and start to believe that Aaron's acting like a petulant child in all of this. And that was kind of starting to happen. So for him to step up in front of that podium and speak the truth uh, to what people consider power, which is the Green Bay Packers, um, and just kind of say, hey, this is what I this is what I was asking for. There was nothing reciprocated with it. Therefore, I started contemplating different kind of options for my career. I, I don't think it could have been a better press conference in terms of how he articulated it. I think that's the best way to put it. He articulated it in the best possible way, calm, cool, collected, said this is what I would have liked. They didn't do it. That made me contemplate whether or not I wanted to be with this organization or play any more moving forward. Ultimately, you know, I, I want to be with this team. I want another chance at a, at a title. Um, and it's it's disappointing that that the team that I've spent 17 years with wasn't willing to to do some of these things. Uh- hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.